So guys, you can see that this is the LCD and these are the two buttons. This left one is the decrement, right one is the increment button. I press the decrement button and I hold it, nothing happens. As soon as I re release it, the value decrements by one. See, similarly for the increment button, only the value changes once the button is released. So if I keep it forever, nothing happens. As soon as I, as I release it, the value changes. See, simple as that. Let me show you the code. So guys, as you can see here, First of all, what we do is that we check if the button is pressed. If the button is pressed, we go to our forever loop and check if the button is released. As soon as the button is released, we break out of the forever loop and the counter is incremented by 1. Now for the decrement button, same thing happens but for the other button and here the counter is decremented by 1 and in the else loop, we display the output, we convert the in integer to string and then we display it on the screen, simple as that. And this programming gives us this result here, decrement and increment. See, simple as that. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how you can increment and decrement a counter using two push buttons, one for the increment and other one for the decrement on the LM016, that is our 16 cross 2 LCD using pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller. So let's get started. So guys, this is our pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller having 40 pins, it's a DIT billion. And this over here is our LM016 or 16 cross 2 LCD with a backlight. And guys, now to interface this LCD with a PIC, first let's interface the LCD, then we will initialize the buttons. So to interface this LCD, we will need a 3 pin 10 kilo ohm variable resistor. So this will be used to adjust the contrast of the LCD. So let's do the wiring. So as you can see that mentioned on the body of this potentiometer as well, it has 3 pins and they are like 1, 2 and 3. Now guys for the LCD it has 16 pins from 1 to 16 from left to right if you hold it like this. Then guys let's do the connection. You common the pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD then you connect it to the pin number 1 of the potentiometer from there you send it to the common ground of the LCD like this. Now guys pin number 3 of your LCD is the adjustable contrast pin you send it to the pin number 2 of the potentiometer or the variable pin of the potentiometer like this. Then guys pin number 2 of your LCD is the power pin VDD pin connected to the pin number 3 of your potentiometer from there send it to the common 5 volt supply of the pick like this. In this way your potentiometer gets a 5 volt and your LCD gets a 5 volt. Now guys RS pin is a uh, digital input output pin for this you can use any available digital input output pin of the pick. I am going to use a pin number 15 that is pin number C0 like this. Then guys for the pin number 6 that is enable pin I am going to use a pin number C1. Now for the pin number 11 of the LCD, that is the data pin 4, I am going to use the pin number two, pin number C2 of the LCD, or PIC16 f 7 a Then guys, for the pin number 12 of the LCD, that is, that is pin number D5, data pin 5 of the LCD, I will connect it to the pin number 21 of the PIC like this. Then guys, for pin number 13 of the LCD, I will connect it to the pin number 22 of the PIC like this. Then guys, for the pin number 14 of the LCD, I will connect it to the pin number C4, that is pin number 23 of the LCD like this. Then guys, pin number 15 and 16 of your LCD are for the backlight. If your LCD do have a backlight only, then you will connect these two pins, else you will not connect these two pins at all. So pin number 15 is a 5 volt for the, for the LCD backlight and pin number 16 is a ground like this. Now guys, the four pins in the center have pin number 7, 8, and 7, 8, 9 and 10 of the LCD. We are using this LCD in the 4-bit mode. If you want to use this LCD in the 8-bit mode, only then you are going to use these wires as just leave them blank or do not connect it to anything. Now guys, we have two push buttons here. Uh, this is one push button. It has only two pins like this. I name the one pin as the add and other pin as the VCC. So whenever this button will be pressed, a digit will be added. Then guys, we have another push button. I name it as subtract. So whenever this push button will be pressed, a digit will be subtracted from the value on the screen. So a top one adds and the bottom one subtracts by 1 or whatever the value we program. Now guys, as you can see, both push buttons have two pins and good thing is you can shuffle these two pins as well. Like for the top push button, you can name the right pin as the add and left pin as the VCC. No issue because they are non-polar components. Now to interface these push buttons with a pick, you will need a 10 kilo ohm each for each button like this. Then guys, you common the VCC pin of the buttons and you send it to the common 5 volt supply of your pick like this. Then guys, for the top button, connect the add pin to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this. 
Then from the same pin, you will take out your output. For the output, you can use any available digital input output pin of the pick. I am going to use the pin number B1 for the top button. And from the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor, send it to the ground like this. Then guys, for the bottom button, you will connect your subtract pin to one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this. Now from the same pin, you will take out your output and you can use any available digital input output pin of the pick. I am going to use the pin number B0 like this. And then from the other end of this 10 kilo ohm resistor, I will connect it to the common ground like this. In this way, our connections are completed. So, whenever the top button is pressed, a digit will be added. And whenever the bottom button is pressed, a digit will be subtracted from the counter. Simple as that. So, let me show you the hardware before we move on to the programming. So, guys, this over here is our hardware. This is our LCD, 16 cost 2 LCD. These are the two buttons. And that at the back is the PIC16 Epic 77A microcontroller. Simple as that. So let's get to our micro C and start the programming. So guys, this is our micro C for pick. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. As you can see that it's version 7.2.0. You can use the higher versions as well. I click on file, new, new project. Like this, new project wizard will pop up like this. Click on next. And this window pops up. Uh, write the name of the project, whatever you want. I write counter using push buttons. LM016 tutorial by sorry for this by LM that is learning microcontroller. Now this is the path where you, you will store your file and the device name is PIC16 FA77A and the crystal I have at pin number 13 and 14 of my PIC16 FA77A is 20 megahertz. So I will write here 20 whatever the value of the crystal is over there you will write here. Now guys click on next and finish. Now guys as you can see here before you do anything else press ctrl s to save your work like this. Now first of all we initialize the LCD. To initialize the LCD we will need to uh, go to the right in the micro e library expand it. Further expand the system libraries here you have this LCD this over here check mark this click on plus expand it now there you have this command lcd i in it double click on it wait okay here we go so here you can see that lcd i in it command in this command at the bottom in the example you have these commands you copy them till here then you go back place it above the void main like this and here you will initialize your pins. Now here he had initialized the RS pin as B4 while we have this at C0. And for the EN pin we are using C1 while he is using something else. So for the D7 we have C4. Let me recheck. So we do not make a mistake here. So for the D7 we have C4, D3, D2 and C2. So let's go back. C4, D3 d2 and c2 so this is our lcd configuration now uh, for the bottom do the same as done here just this is the direction and those were the pinout uh, for the rs it's c0 in our case for the en it's c1 for the data pin 7 it's c4 for data pin 6 it is d3 for data pin 5 it's d2 and for data pin 4 it's c2 like this now guys go to the void main and inside it go to the right again to the same lcd init library and here at the bottom of this code you have this command lcd initialize click copy it paste it here like this now the lcd is initialized give some initialization delay this delay is not very important but i always suggest it you give it in the one time to loop like this now guys the next thing is uh, we go to the right and we look for a command called LCD CMD. I want to remove the cursor. This LCD by default have a cursor and I don't like the cursor. So let me show you how you can remove the cursor. You copy this command LCD CMD LCD clear in the example. Remove inside it. We don't want to clear the LCD. We want to remove the cursor. Now again go to the right to the same library and here beneath this Okay, LCD CMD command, this one, LCD CMD, double click on it, go to this library here, 
and in the table here you have these commands check for this command lcd cursor off copy this green part go back paste it inside the bracket like this now this command will turn off the cursor get some initialization delay like this 10 will do fine now guys we clear the screen for the first run to clear the screen again go to the right and here you have this command lcd cmd so whenever our program will run for the first time if there are rack back values on the screen this command will clear those values like it's like a refresh command like this now the lcd is, is initialized and lcd is clear now what we do next is that we initialize our uh, button pins so it's just b dot f0 equals to 1 so this is the direction register b dot f0 is a pin and 1 means it's an input so button is always connected to an input pin now the initially port b dot f0 must be low why low because go to the schematic again here you can see that this 10 kilo ohm resistor and this 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the grounding end whenever the 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the grounding end whenever the button will be pressed a 1 will be sent so that's why we will need the initial state to be 0 because if the button is pressed a 1 is sent then by default the button must be at 0 so now give some initialization delay 100 will do fine like this now guys copy this for the second button do the same like this so now this is for the second button which is at pin number b1 like this now guys again go down here we now we will go to our forever loop we have our lcd initialized and we have our both the buttons pin initialized forever loop starts here like this and forever loop ends here like this now inside the forever loop we will check if the button is pressed so if the button is pressed so first we look for the add button i call it like this button as i add so this will add and the button connected to pin number b1 will subtract so we check if the add button is being pressed i write if port b dot f0 double equals to 1 then what it should do it should check if the button is released now the button is pressed now if the button is released for that again copy this check if port b dot f0 if the button is released the value will go zero like this then like this if the button is released now it should keep on checking if the button is released for that we go to our forever loop inside the forever loop we check if the button is released so and if the button is released it should break out of the forever loop like using break command then once if the button is pressed here the button is pressed and then we go to our forever loop now we inside the forever loop we check if the button is released if the button is released we break out of it and then once we break out of it then for that we take a counter like for the counter we will need an integer so we take integer here as count so this is the count integer now go down we make count initially 0 in the one time loop count equals to 0 so whenever the code will run by default the count is 0 now after the button is pressed and then the button is released count increments by 1 count equals to count plus 1 so if we keep the hold the button pressed it will not increment the count but once the button is released only then the count is incremented by 1 now else if, if the other button is pressed then what should happen else if the other button is pressed that is port b dot f1 or we simply copy paste above one that will be even better so copy this whole from if to here like this and paste it next to the else else if port b dot f1 double equals to one the other button is pressed again do the same go to forever loop and check if the button is released once the button is released break out of that loop and now the counter will decrement by one like this now we will need to display the value on the LCD for that go to the else loop else now we will need to convert this value that is the counter value to a string because we cannot display integers directly on the LCD for that we will need another variable over here above the void main take another variable a string so we will take an array of char an array of char is a string count one and the maximum digits it can have like three three will be fine for us so this is the counter uh, string which will store whatever the values in the count 
so now go to the right and in the right you have to go up and here you have this library called conversion so i check it check the conversion library expand it go down here you have this int to string command double click on it copy it paste it in the else like this now here you will write whatever the value you want to convert the integer and here you will write a what whatever the variable will store the value so count one will store the value whatever is in the count and now we will need to display it on the lcd we can display this integer now go to the right again to the lcd library here you have this lcd out library you double click on it this is the command here in the example copy it go back paste it below the int to string start writing from the first row first column what it should write count one like this and after writing the command what it should do it should remove rest of the values so we don't get the rack back value instead of clearing the screen it will be more smooth so our digits will be like maximum of six characters so start writing from the seventh just make them go empty so rest of the places on the first row are empty i'm not going to write anything on it so i will make them go empty so there should be no rack back values so 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so it has 16 cross 2 lcd maximum columns it can have on first uh, row are 16 so this is the row and this is the column now i build this code and let's see what happens so the code is built successfully i go to picket 3 programmer tool go to the file import the hex file this is the file i just created click on write okay the new file is being written let me zoom out and let's get to the hardware and see what happens so let me write the new file okay the file is written see we are getting zero that's perfect we wanted a zero now i press the button so it says minus one that's perfect now i press the other button so it became zero that's good it is incrementing then i press the button i have pressed and now i release it it goes one that's perfect i again press the button and release it it goes two and i press the button and release it, it goes three four five and press and release press now it's pressed i will keep it pressed forever it will do nothing but as soon as i release it it goes up similarly for the other button i press it and release it it goes down see simple as that now once i press it release it it goes up see it will keep on incrementing for as long as i keep on pressing and releasing the button like this see that this is simple as that guys so this is it if you have any questions you can ask in the description or sorry in the comment section i will give you this code in the description of the video so guys we'll see you in the next video goodbye and have a nice day